Welcome to Electron Line. Now we're ready to represent how to set up a matrix format to calculate the transition of a ray coming into a thick lens and as it comes out of a thick lens. With other words, what we want to know is if we know the height of the incoming ray above the optical axis and we know the angle relative to the horizontal line and we know the index of refraction of the medium that it's coming from at the front side of the lens and we know the width of the lens and we know the index of refraction of the lens then we can finally figure out and also we of course we need to know the radii of curvature of the front and the back side of the lens then we can figure out what the direction of the ray will be as it leaves the lens and what the height the position will be as it crosses over the back boundary of the lens and these are the three matrices that allow us to calculate that transition we have r1 which is the refracting matrix that allows us to figure out what happens across this boundary we have the transition matrix that allows us to figure out what's happening from one side of the boundary to the other side of the boundary across the transition across the lens and finally we have the third matrix the refracting matrix on the second boundary that tells us that allows us to calculate what happens across that boundary so we can then write the whole matrix system like this the information of the ray exiting the second boundary the transmission ray across the second boundary equals the incident matrix across the first boundary times the multiplication of these three matrices but notice the order that they're in so we have the initial ray over here the information of the initial ray we have the information of the boundary crossing here we have the information about the transition from one boundary to the next and we have the information across the second boundary and notice the information within them the refracting matrices always look exactly the same we have a 1 0 1 here and we have a minus d1 which is the power of the first boundary which indicates here you can see what that indicates the difference of indices of refraction across the boundary and the radius of curvature of that boundary of that front side of the lens R2 the refractive matrix of the back side across when we cross the boundary on the back side of the lens again we have one zero one just like before and a minus d2 the d2 here is the difference of indices of refraction divided by the radius of curvature of the back side of the lens the transition matrix that's we saw how we derived that in the previous video we have a one zero one here and here we have the ratio of the distance or the thickness of the lens divided by the index of refraction of the lens nt1 is of course the index of refraction after we cross the first boundary which means we're inside the lens if we then place these in that particular order first of all the matrix the one by two matrix the one by two matrix that gives us the information of the incoming ray the index of refraction over here and the angle relative to horizontal this angle right here and the height above the optical axis right here we then have the three matrices so we multiply this times this the result of that gets multiplied times this the result of that gets multiplied times this and all that then will give us information about the direction of the ray as it leaves the second boundary and the height of the ray above the optical axis that's how we can calculate very easily using this matrix method what happens to a ray as it travels through the lens through a thick lens for that and so we get very easily with some simple calculations and we'll show you some examples of that we then very easily get the information about what happens to the ray as it leaves the lens and that's how it's done